loggers make a strange discovery in the middle of a hollow tree. A logger was on his daily job hours, which meant he and his team were assigned enough trees that they were required to cut down before the end of the day, which was standing in the way of a builder's construction site. So, looking at their profession, this sounds like a normal thing. At first, everyone thought so too, but soon, after starting their work, they realized they had to stop. No, there were no revolters interrupting them. It was something bigger than that. Their original plans for the tree went away after taking a glance at this discovery. According to the people who were looking at it from the distance, it looked like a black hole inside of the tree. It seemed scary as well as intriguing at the same time. At first, everyone thought it's some stem growing inside of the tree, but it was much, much weirder than that. It seemed like a monster trying to jump out of a tree. According to some, it looked like a canine growling. It was hard to guess what it was. The only thing clear to them was that it was a living being. The discovery was certainly disturbing, but everybody wanted to know the story behind the monster in the tree. Its teeth were sharp, a long snout, and its paws were visible too. It was visible because it was close to the trunk's top. The mystery was partially resolved when the loggers made out that it was a dog. But now they were baffled to even think that it was an alive pooch at some point in time that was nowhere in the mid of the tree. After completing the work, they took this special trunk to the right place, a place where all their queries regarding this dog and its tree could be answered. They wanted to know the origin of this weird-looking scene and what happened to this dog. The trunk was given for further research to scientists, but until one year, nothing came upon about this dog. It was 1981, the next year when the story of this mysterious tree was cleared out to everyone, including the loggers. When they got to know the story of this pooch, they couldn't help but feel sad for the poor thing. The Southern Forest World was opened in Waycross, Georgia, is a museum under the southeastern United States industry of forestry. Its collection includes wood production in colonial America. To modern tree farming techniques, and this canine wound it up in a trunk was kept for the people. The loggers donated it to the museum authorities where the mystery was revealed. Southern Forest World got the trunk before inaugurating the museum and they needed to mention this dog's story in the intro. It was very clear that this exhibition was going to be a great success. So far, the only thing known about the trunk was that it was discovered by the loggers. They wanted to know the true story, and that's when Christina Kilgrove, a biological anthropologist, came into the picture. Christina explained it bit by bit. She started by specifying the process of tissue decay, that this begins with the putrefying process, where microbes eat the tissue soon after death. They grow, they reproduce, and they start taking over the body, she mentioned. Her further explanation was more logical. The chestnut tree included tannin and desiccant, an organic substance which can absorb moisture. According to her, this one of the distinctive characteristics of the chestnut tree restricted the nature from taking its course. This created an environment for the body to last without moisture, which stopped the microbes. But what was wrong with the scavengers, who smells from the body from far off places and ran towards their food? Anything that would eat dead flesh would never know he was in the tree, said Bertha Sue Dixon, Southern Forest World's director. When there were no microbes, there was no smell that could lure flesh eaters. The smell was blown upwards throughout the hollow trunk like a chimney and no predator was able to get in. But one question about this mystery remained as the biggest question. How was he even in there? As per Bertha, he's a hunting dog, so we assumed he was chasing something in the tree. In 1960, this dog's age was four years old when he died and he was chasing a raccoon or a squirrel. He followed the prey inside the tree from any open hole and he might have dug his way into the tree. The more he tried to chase his prey, the more upward he went. But being a dog, what he didn't notice was that the hollow tree was narrower towards the top. Surprisingly, he got stuck and shocked everyone who got to know about the height where he got stuck. He got stuck at the height of 28 feet, which is exactly 336 inches, and sadly got stuck there and was never able to make it out of the chestnut tree alive. The dog was known as the mummified dog for years and was finally named as Stucky. This name was given after a naming contest where the name Stucky defeated Chipper and Dogwood. A guy suggested this name, stating that the dog's trunk coffin is similar to pecan logs that's usually sold in Stucky's store. But to ignore trademark issues, the museum modified the spelling a bit. 
Whether people feel pity for him or they find his story amusing, for now, Stucky is going to stay where he has stayed for the past few decades. You can still go and visit him in the Southern Forest World in Waycross, Georgia. Take your family or your friends with you and have a fun day around.